Hi, I'm Eric Peterson. I'm a relationship coach for skillofattraction.com and today's attraction tips video is the 10 most common needy mistakes. Now we've all made these mistakes from one time to another. I mean, we're human and making these mistakes here and there isn't that big of a deal. I mean, she's probably not going to take notice. She may take notice in the moment and get a little turned off, but if you're not doing them all the time, you're going to end up redeeming yourself right away and she's not even going to think about it again. But if it if you're doing them all the time, eventually it's going to turn her off and it's going to send her just running for the hills. So you don't want to be doing these all the time. So you have to know what these mistakes are so you're you know aware of them. Now, one of the most sought after qualities in a man by women is confidence. I guarantee if you ask a group of women what are the qualities that they want in a man, confidence is going to be near the top for them. And if you think about it, by acting needy and desperate and insecure, it's really the opposite of confidence. And naturally, it's going to turn a woman off. Uh, they Women hate needy men. It just totally repulses them. It's disgusting to them. Now, these needy mistakes are very subtle, and you probably think they're not that big of a deal. And actually, you probably don't even realize that you're doing them. But if you're not aware that you're doing them, over time, women will take notice. I mean, it's not like she's like keeping score in her head or anything about all this stuff. But, you know, women are far more intuitive than us guys are. And this is happening on a subconscious level for her. So if you continually do this stuff, like I said, it's going to send her running for the hills and she's just going to be done with you. She's going to, it's going to start adding up in her head. And then just one day it's going to dawn on her that boom, you're needy. And then it will be a conscious decision for her and she's out of there. Now, these are the most common mistakes that from working with men that I have noticed that make men look very needy and desperate. And just so you know, this isn't about playing games, but it's about being centered and having emotional self-control. So you just want to let things slowly unfold because women really enjoy the mystery. And I mean, part of the fun of falling in love is discovering things about the other person. And that's really for everybody, man or women, but women especially enjoy it because it helps build up the anticipation for them and the excitement because women really want to wonder about you. They want to try to figure you out. They want to discuss you with their girlfriends. It's all part of the journey for them. And like I said, it really keeps things exciting and interesting for, for them. So by just relaxing just a little bit and taking things slow, letting things slowly unfold, what you're really communicating to her is that one, you're confident. You're confident in yourself and you're confident in the direction things are heading between you two. And number two, that you get it. That you get that she wants to be in a love story. And by remaining centered and giving yourself just a little by little, you're keeping things fun and interesting and exciting and and building that anticipation with her. And she's just going to love you for it. So what are these most common needy mistakes that I've noticed that you're more than likely making? I used to make them all the time. And I know tons of other guys do because I talk to them all the time. So number one is texting. Now, obviously, there's nothing wrong with texting with your girl a little bit here and there. The thing is, most guys do it way too much. And by too much, what I mean is you're initiating way too much. You're way too wordy. Your, your texts are way longer than hers. Um, you're using way too many emojis. And like I said earlier, you may think these things aren't that big of a deal. It is very subtle. but And I'm sure you have noticed, at least with one girl in your life, that when you're texting with her, eventually she starts backing off. She starts taking a little longer to respond. And when she does respond, they're like short answers where she's putting in very little effort. And this is the reason why. It's because you're overdoing it. 
Now, you, she should be initiating way more than you. And I know a lot of women that are watching this aren't going to like the sounds of this, but I'm telling you, you should be, she should be initiating at least 70 to 80 percent of the time. And the reason why is because if you keep it 50 50 or you're initiating way more than her, it's going to cause her to get like a little familiar with you, a little bored. You're killing that mystery and she's going to naturally just back off. And another big mistake within this texting issue is double texting. And that's when you send her a text and she's not responding to you quick enough, you know, in your time frame. She's not responding within the time frame that you're expecting her to. So you send her another text, you know, like, did you get my message? And that's completely the wrong way to go. And this actually brings me to number two, and that is confronting her about why she hasn't responded quick enough or why she hasn't responded at all. And this is really just creating unnecessary drama. And like I said, it's, it's going to cause her to back off even more. And I actually did a video about this called She's Not Responding to My Text. And in that video, I talk about other things you could do to keep your mind busy so and to kill that anxiety that you may be getting because she's not responding quick enough. And these are just all tips to, you know, not worry about it so much because by thinking about it too much, you're really just overthinking it. You're focusing too much on her. And this is going to kill her attraction eventually for you. And number three, number three is being too available to her. And what I mean by that is you're always there at her beck and call. Anytime she wants to text or chat or talk, you're there. She wants to do something, you're there. Uh, she needs help with this, you're there. She needs a ride, you're there. And, there. and this is really giving off that vibe of I'll be there for you. And obviously there's nothing wrong with being there for your girl. But the thing is, when you're too available, again, it's kind of killing the mystery. And she really wants you to have your own life. She wants you to have your own social life and to be pursuing your goals and to be focusing on your purpose in life. Women expect this out of you. Of course they want your attention. And you should give it to them, but you need to make time for her just like you make time for other things in your life. Because if you're totally focused on her all the time, again, it's going to turn her off because there's no challenge or mystery there. And it's just going to totally kill the, her attraction for you. And number four is leaning in to talk to her. Now, this is one of those things where it's very subtle and you probably don't even realize you're doing it. And it sounds ridiculous. And when I first learned this, I was like, come on. And, but I tried it. And what this means is like when you're on a date and you're sitting across from each other and you're just like leaning in or, you know, listen, hanging on every word she says, and it's sweet, but it's going to eventually turn her off because it, it's just a needy vibe. And if you just like kick back, relax a little bit, you know, take up space it's going to have a very positive effect on her because she really wants this calm, cool, and confident guy that's, you know, not, you know, hanging on her every word. And what this will actually cause her to do is, you know, to start touching you and she's going to be leaning in. She's going to want to be getting a little closer to you. And I can't say exactly the psychology behind this, but like I said, by leaning in, it's just giving off this needy vibe that, you know, I'm there. Like I was saying before, I'm there for you. I'm here. I'm listening. And it's just going to end up backfiring on you eventually. And number five, this is showering her with compliments and gifts and flowers. And I know you see this stuff in the movies, but and most people do this. Most guys do this. And it's really the opposite of what you should be doing because what it's communicating to her is that you don't think you're good enough for her or that she's not going to like you for you. So you have to compensate by giving her these compliments and these material things. 
And there's nothing wrong with giving your girl flowers and gifts and compliments, but it's usually guys do this like right in the beginning. And it's, it's needy because you want her so desperately to like you. And you really just have to focus on having fun. And when you get deeper into the relationship, you know, you're a little bit more committed. It's okay to give her these things. But again, you want to do it, you know, sparingly once in a while. And it, it should be from your heart, not because it's, I don't know, Valentine's Day. Because it doesn't mean as much. But when it's a surprise and it's from your heart, she's going to appreciate it so much more. And number six is professing your feelings before you have built attraction with her. You know, a lot of guys, they do all the right things, but they do it out of sequence. And while there's nothing wrong with sharing your feelings with her, and, you know, all women love when men share their feelings with them, but the thing is they do it before there's already sexual attraction built. And before there's sexual attraction, you start professing your feelings. It comes off as very desperate and needy. And a lot of guys that um, are too afraid to, you know, flirt with them and sexualize the conversation a little bit and be a little bold and, and dangerous, this is what guys do. They, they profess their feelings for them, and it's too soon. Once you build that sexual attraction, she's going to want to hear all those things from you, and she's going to love it. When she has that sexual attraction already for you, and you're telling her how much you love her, I mean, she is just going to melt in your arms and just be crazy about it. But if there is no sexual attraction there, it's just kind of creepy, and you're trying too hard, and she's just going to be like, ew. And it's really not a good way to go. Number seven is kind of a big one. It's when you show up to her house or work unannounced or really anywhere. I mean, like if she's out at a bar with her friends and you are uninviting, you just kind of like show up hoping to spend more time with her. Uh, it's going to backfire. I mean, this is acting like a stalker and it's going to scare the shit out of her. She will never feel safe and comfortable with you. And if you do it even more, you're going to end up getting the cops called on you and maybe even a restraining order. And a lot of guys do this thinking they're being romantic and sweet and surprising her. But um, unless she's like a serious girlfriend or your wife or something along those lines, I highly recommend that you don't do it because it's going to backfire on you. Number eight is being overly affectionate with her. And this is like when you're always touching her and trying to kiss her and hold her hand and stuff, and she's just not feeling it. And a lot of guys do this in a way to actually force affection from her onto them. I mean, when we're affectionate towards each other, we both want it. And I mean, I know it's great, but maybe the girl pulls away a little bit and she's not really feeling it. A lot of guys panic and they try to be more affectionate, hoping to get that back. And it's really pushing her away further. So you really just have to look for the signs here. I mean, if she's touching you and kissing you, that means you have a green light. She wants it back from you. But if she's kind of like pulling away or maybe if you go to grab her hand and she pulls it away or turns her face when you go to kiss her and you get the cheek, that's a red light. That means stop. So really just pay attention to the signs that you're getting from her because she's probably not going to say stop unless you're completely scaring her or you're extremely annoying. She doesn't want to hurt your feelings. So... Look for the signs, back off when she starts showing signs that she wants you to stop and give her more when she wants, when she gives you the signs that she wants more. It's really as simple as that. And number nine is agreeing with everything she has to say. Now this is really a nice guy behavior and it's trying to like force a connection. And a lot of guys think by agreeing with her on everything she has to say, that she's going to say, oh my God, we have so much in common. I'm totally digging this guy. And it really doesn't work that way because like I was saying earlier, women are intuitive and they could read you like a book. They know you're not being authentic with them. So you just want to 
be bold and be confident and say what's on your mind. She might not like to hear what you have to say, but she's going to respect you for it. And women will never love you unless they have respect for you. It's really that simple. So just say what's on your mind. Be bold. You don't have to be a jerk about anything, but just don't worry about it. Just be confident in who you are and what you have to say. And either she's going to take it or leave it. And number 10 is like you relationship labels or having the talk. And again, this is trying to like force things, force a relationship. And to be quite honest, this is the woman's department. I mean, you always want to be going at her pace. I mean, you want to lead, but you want to be doing it at her pace. She will bring it up when she is feeling it. And she will say something like, you know, where is this going? Where do you see us going? Are you seeing anyone else? She'll be saying things like that. And this is a hint that she wants to take the relationship to the next level. And either that's your green light for either going along with it and because you want it or maybe you don't want it and you want to take things a little slower and that's fine too. But you have to wait for her to start talking about it before you do. I hear so many guys saying, well, when is the appropriate time to have the talk? Never. Let her bring it up, then have the talk. That's all there is to it. So that's it for today's Attraction Tips video. If you have any questions about your dating or relationship life, maybe you need some help uh, eliminating your needy behavior, or any questions about any of the videos, please feel free to shoot me an email. Um, just head over to my website at skillofattraction.com. Click on the contact tab and there's an email form where you can shoot me a message. If it's an emergency and you need my help right away, um, click on the coaching tab and there's a couple of uh, options there for emergency email coaching. And that's it for today's Attraction Tips video. And I will catch you on the next one. Have a good one. Bye-bye.